and I am now, though amazingly, <coughs> just at the entrance to European Cove. So I'm just going to climb up there, down into here, so you've got good climbing. Here's your top bolts. Well, I'm still here at Usher's Cove about half an hour later. Making around. I've been down to the bottom, had a look round, been sort of over to the next little bit of a K, uh, cove. And certainly no easy way out from the south, which I kind of hope they might have been. Entry and exit I have here, so there's the chock stone. As you can see, it's fairly easy to get down on the side, get down to that first ledge. Oh, there it is at the top there. That looks pretty good. Sit up there, set up an anchor. And I'm going to climb that face. You can see those bolts on. But quite some going either to the left or to the right up this little chimney type feature here. Anyway, so I'm all geared up. Got my. Um, on, going down on a double rope, they'll be coming back up on the um, micro traction and a um, Malon 8mm uh, on, a set, on the second rope, just tied off on a figure of 8. That is the setup. So, I don't know what this route is, I think it might be like 25 metres or something. Um, as you can see, it's a the old rugged base to the cove there. There's actually a really cool abseil down. And I've come right to the bottom here, you can see the rope's all draping in, really it's just a, an 8 or a 10 up there. Come all the way down to the bottom, just to make the most of it. So, now, I'm set up, get back up again. <laughs> Doesn't it just fit in my climate? All that work just so that I can go back out. It's great, isn't it? It's the crazy thing about it, isn't it? Eh? What have we got here? Yeah. Go on to there. And we have micro traction. And there. To the rope, you can see that just pops <coughs> straight into there. Whack, close the gate, whatever it is. Get over there, I still haven't got used to this way around to put the thing in, but we'll try it this way. And so it goes up the road and comes down the road so I've locked it off. <laughs> Touch the button here, beep, it comes down. Now when we go up, we go up and pull down and the rope goes up. <coughs> Don't go nowhere. Oh yeah, on, which I think this is a lark spear. A lark spear onto two rings of my harness. Reading something about there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And, um, maybe it's the wrong way, I don't know. Um, I feel really comfortable on it. And uh, whack it in there, tighten it up. Tie not underneath that. So, I might just flip this rope up. What I haven't done, what I probably need to do, is to um, get a little bit of weight 
on the end of the line. With my micro traction on it. Traction. Because it's not actually functioning. It's a continuous belay at the moment. Be a really nice angle for you, isn't it? Got a tension on it. Over here, not. Just a little bit so that it's. Okay. And so there is the climb, which is probably only about 15, 18 metres now. I think the first bit will be quite easy, and then I'll either swing three or four metres to the left or one and a half metres to the right. If I have a sneaking suspicion I probably can't go straight up. I think it might be an 18. Oh, I've been getting bitten by sandflies all the time. But not having my guidebook with me, I don't know and I can't remember and I can't tell you. So, uh, I'll just turn the camera off now and I'll see it. Off.